What's going on guys? Welcome to your 43rd tutorial. And in this tutorial, as promised, I'm going to show you guys how to modify only certain lines. So here's our um, document we have so far. It's called A and it says this is a new line. This is line 2, third line, last and final line. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. And let me show you guys how to modify certain lines in that document. So before we can modify the lines, we need to take all the lines or read them in. So let's go ahead and create a new file object. And of course, like before, we want this to be a read object. So look in your, uh, find your path C, hope I remember it, test A dot text. And of course, it's a read object, so go ahead and press R. And now we have a file object that can read. And what we want to do is create a list that using read lines, and remember, when you put read lines, it returns all of the lines to you in list format. So let's go ahead and do that. And we want to take that list and store it in a temporary variable. So let's go ahead and make a temporary variable called list me. Uh, you can name it anything you want. I'm going to name it list me. So and press enter and list me is now equal to as you can see equal to a list of all the lines in that document a dot text so now we can go ahead and close this since we don't need it anymore So just to get something out of the ordinary. So now we have a list of the files, and in, and this is the old one. The new one is the exact same thing, except the third line says, mm, I sure love bacon. So now once we print out list me, we get that new one that says, mm, I sure love bacon in this third one. The problem is we didn't actually save this to the text document yet. So even though we read from the file, the original file, and made a new list we didn't save that list into a new file or we didn't write it yet so let's go ahead and write that and I'll show you guys what I'm And we'll make this one an open object and, excuse me, a write object. So let's go ahead and as our first parameter, you guys should get good at this, test.a.text and make this a write. There's only a write lines function in order to write new lines. So what do we want to do? Add as a parameter to write multiple lines. Well, all we have to do is put the name of our variable list me since we already have a list of brand new lines. So let's go ahead and press enter. And what it does is once we close this.
to do something. Um, let's see, X out of this. When I put, I sure love bacon, I should have done this. Mm, I sure love bacon, and I should have put new line. But I didn't. As you can see, backslash N from before is the new line character. And I forgot to put that. So function to import a list and write it as new lines in your file so again don't forget your uh, new line character like I did but if you didn't it still works either way so hopefully you understand um, a little bit what I did um, I'll try to clear things up for you in the next couple of tutorials but that's the basics of how to edit a certain line so uh, thank you guys for watching if you have any questions you can just send me a message um, otherwise just thank you guys make sure you subscribe and I'll see you next time